Hello students. So in this video, I will discuss about the interferometer. So let's start this video. Now, what is interferometer? Interferometer is a device which is used to observe or produce interference. Now, first we see double Young's double student experiment. Now, the second device is interferometer. In this, we will discuss about the Michelson interferometer. So, how does it work? Or how interference it generates a interference or give rise to a phenomena called interference. So, in the Michelson interferometer, so our topic is Michelson. Michelson's interferometer. Now it is used to produce interference or to observe the interference phenomena. Now this is the one monochromatic source of light. So this is the monochromatic source of light. This is monochromatic means one wavelength. Monochromatic wave. Okay. Monochromatic source or we can say monochromatic source here in between a beam splitter is placed. This is called beam splitter because the single wave which is coming that will be this is partially silver. This is a suppose you, this is a transparent glass transparent glass sheet which is partially silver. So this side is partially silver. Now, suppose this is the thickness, thickness of this plate is T, this and the refractive index is mu. Now, once the reflection will take place, now, because this is air, this is glass, so it will bend towards the normal. So, this is the path. Now, after some of the, when it will strike this surface, this is partially silver, so some of the light will be reflected, some will be refracted. So, some of the light will be reflected. This is two mirrors. This is mirror one and this is mirror two. So some of the light will be reflected. <clears throat> now, from this surface, some of the light is reflected and some is refracted. Now, this is mirror one or mirror two, which is fixed. And this is another mirror which is movable so in a Michelson interferometer one monochromatic source of light and there is one beam splitter which is nothing but the light which is coming that is split into two parts one is reflected one is reflected and there are two mirrors are placed so when the light will strike the mirror it will be reflected back now it is reflected back it is reflected back and when we will observe this when the reflected wave will interference or the superimpose these two reflected waves from mirror will be superimposed give rise to phenomena called interference which will be observed by telescope now <clears throat> this is about the diagram of Michelson interference interferometer or my see when the this the part difference or the we want uh, we are interested in the part difference between these two waves now this reflected wave is travel extra path because of this beam splitter so to compensate this part difference we will place another plate same plate in this part which is called compensating plate so we will place another plate of same thickness same reflective index T is the thickness mu is the reflective index of this glass plate so another glass plate is placed that is called compensating plate compensating plate now in Michelson interferometer two mirrors are placed at equal distance from the center so this is the beam splitter the one mirror is fixed and other is movable if they are placed at equal distance the power difference between the reflected rays will be zero but if this plate was not which is called compensating plate if this plate was not present then there was a part difference between two because of this glass plate now to compensate because this distance this way from travel extra so we will place another that is called compensating plate now the part difference between these two reflected wave is 
zero. So constructive interference will be observed, which will be seen by telescope. Now this is a movable mirror, so we can move this mirror up or down, or we can create a part difference. If we move the mirror by distance x, suppose x downward, then total part difference that will be observed that is equal to 2x. Or we move this mirror away from the center by some distance x. So the part difference, suppose this is moved to this position, this is new position, we move it by distance x, then the part difference between these two will be, suppose x, then uh, upward x downward, so total part difference that will be observed that is equal to 2x. Now we know for constructive interference, this part difference, when the, they are placed at the center, equidistance from the center, the part difference was 0. Now part difference can be created by moving this mirror. This is a movable mirror. So if we can move up or down, if this mirror is moved by distance x, then the part difference that is equal to 2x. So this 2x will decide whether a constructive interference will be observed or destructive interference will be observed. The condition for condition for constructive interference that is 2x or the path difference is equal to n lambda so this is our first equation so this is n lambda is a condition for constructive interference now because path difference observed is 2x if 2x is equal to n lambda then at the center this point on the telescope we will observe the constructive interference if we want to see the condition for condition for destructive interference then this 2x or the part difference is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 this is the part difference so part difference means this this mirror is displaced by distance x so part difference is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 then a dark fringe will be observed on the telescope. So this gives rise to that is called bright or constructive interference gives rise to phenomena. Bright fringe and this is the condition for dark fringe. Right? So type of fringe which will observe on the telescope that depends on the angle between two mirrors. If these two mirrors are placed at 90 degree, means M1, suppose this is M1, this is M2. If M1 is perpendicular to M2, then the fringes that is observed on the telescope is circular, circular fringe. So circular fringes will observe on the center when the angle between M1 and M2 is 90 degree. So such kind of fringes will be observed on the telescope. If M1 is not perpendicular to M2 because in case of if M1 is perpendicular to M2 then the image mirror image is formed in the mirror which is exactly this is M2 this is M1 dash so this is the mirror of M1 observing M2 if these two mirrors are not perpendicular so image means mirror image of mirror M1 in M2 will not be parallel there it will intersect at some angle suppose this is m2 and this is m1 dash so if this is the image of mirror m1 observing m2 then type of fringe that is observed will be exactly straight bands so this will be the this will such kind of interference phenomena or the fringes will be observed on the telescope. Now, if this is not a M1 is a mirror image of mirror M1 in M2. Third, if this is M1, this is M2 and this is M1 dash, then the type of fringes that is equal to that will be observed will be have some this kind of. So, this type of fringes will be observed. Next, if this is M2, this is M1 dash. Then the type of fringes which will be observed on the telescope will be concave towards bend. Concave bend. So we see that the type of fringes observed on the telescope 
is maybe circular because generally we in Michelson interferometer this kind of fringes is observed. So circular fringes is observed because they are placed at 90 degree with respect to each other. So mirror image or the image of mirror M1 and M2 is parallel. Right. So the circular fringes is observed in case of Michelson interferometer. Because, but if the angle between M1 and M2 is changed, that circular no more the fringes will be no more be circular. They can be straight lines or convex towards right or convex towards left. Now we'll discuss about the application of Michelson interferometer. So application of Michelson interferometer. First is this is a monochromatic light. We can find out the wavelength of a monochromatic light. This is the transparent sheet having thickness T and the refractive index mu. So first application of Michelson interferometer is to calculate the wavelength of a monochromatic light to find second is find the refractive thickness of a transparent sheet or the refractive index of sheet and also to find the spectral width which is the resolution of spectral lines. So first application of Michelson interference is to find wavelength to find a wavelength of monochromatic monochromatic light now this is the monochromatic light which is it has it has having some wavelength lambda now to calculate the wavelength of a monochromatic light we will use the formula 2x is equal to n lambda where x is the part or the distance moved by mirror this mirror is moved by distance x so 2x is the maximum optical part difference for constructive interference we saw that part difference should be equal to n lambda from this we can find out n is the number of fringes crossing the center so n is the number of fringes the lambda is the wavelength x is the distance moved by mirror m2 now 2x is the maximum part difference or the optical part difference second application is to find thickness and refractive to find a refractive index refractive index of transparent sheet now to find the thickness as well as the refractive index of this transparent sheet we will use 2x equal to n lambda and x equal to t mu minus 1. So this is the, where t is the thickness, mu is the refractive index and x is the path moved by x. From these two, we will use second equation x equal to t mu minus 1. This is equation number 1, this is equation number 2. Now, third, we can find out the spectral width. Spectral width, which is also known as resolution of, resolution of, spectral lines so <clears throat> del lambda that is equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2 divided by 2x or lambda square which is average divided by 2x now we will see the numerical based on these to find out how to calculate the wavelength of a monochromatic light thickness, reflective index and the spectral width thank you